Step one, once you get your new USC and you want to convert it to a UMP, or if you want to keep it uh, stock, that's totally up to you. Uh, you're going to open up your case. The new USCs come with this. Actually, it's a really nice case. I'm uh, pretty excited about that. Looks like it has some Velcro here. Looks like two pistol pouches. And then uh, two stock 10 round bags, which we won't use. We have zippers here, compartment, zipper over there. Tons of pouches up front. I think they had a lock in this, this pouch here. Uh, overall, looks like a really nice case. It's going to be kind of, uh, kind of nice to have. It's a little extra added value to the gun. Um, let's see here, find a zipper to get in. All right, first thing you want to do, make sure it's empty, chamber's clean. Um, so we're going to go through now, I'm going to take off all the parts and I'll kind of shut the camera off, do that, disassemble, and then talk through what parts we're going to keep, what parts we're not going to keep. And uh, so pretty much the stock lower is all disappearing. You're going to loosen up these Allen wrenches here. Stock's going to pull out the back. This is actually part of the stock. This uh, grip here is actually kind of dovetailed into the lower unit here, and that's going to pull right off the back. Your guide rod spring is in here. Your bolt is in here. You're going to keep the guide rod spring. You're going to keep the bolt. Um, you're going to transfer your trigger group. And one thing you can do is send in your safety to Tom Bostick, and he can re-label your marks on here, or if you're creative enough, you can do it yourself because these marks are not going to match up with the UMP lower marks if you do a select fire uh, trigger group. But your hammer, your trigger, all that's uh, universal. So really what we're doing here, one of the biggest changes is the stock USC has a single stack 10 round mag and the UMP is a double stack mag, so they're going from 10 round to 25 round. Um, so we're going to take this lower all off here. I'll bring you back. The other thing we have to do is mill in two grooves uh, for barrel vents here in your upper and then also a vent down here and then two more mill jobs there. We're going to be doing some work here inside of the mag well. So once I get this apart, I'll show you that. And then eventually once you apply for your paperwork, your SBR paperwork, you will be cutting the barrel off to whatever length you want, threading it and then you're set up for an SPR. But that's going to be on a Form 1. All right, I'll disassemble and we'll come back. All right, now that I got these two Allen screws loosened up, stock's going to slide right off the back. And they do have another buffer here that you could use if you need to. If your other one wears out, that we will not use again. Stock lower, hinges and pulls right off. And then you can pull your uh, trigger group out of here. Use that in your UMP. And you can see the front portions here all blocked off. Um, it's not epoxy filled, but it is blocked off. So you can save your trigger group and your safety out of this guy here. So the one thing we're going to have to do, and once I get this laid out better, I'll show you, is we have to widen this mag well. Right now, this is set up for a single stack. Our double stack or double feed will not fit into this. Um, so we're just going to take out a little bit more for width. We're going to keep that front portion the same, and we're only going to come back, I think it's an inch and a half back, an inch wide. I will include a set of drawings for this. Uh, but that's the only place you're allowed to touch. You're not allowed to touch any other plastic in here at all. If you do, they consider it modifying it to be a full auto. So just make sure the only milling you do is up here and don't touch anything else. Um, so that's going to be a little more involved. That's going to have to be... Uh, uh, probably on the next video, actually machining and milling this all out and milling out the, the vents for up front. Um, so we can pop this back. There's the stock USC bolt and guide rod spring. Now on my last USC, the end of this thing blew out. The spring popped off when, when I was shooting. The spring got all torqued in there, the gun jammed, this blew apart. I bought a replacement one and it was fine, but this did fail on me in one of my last USCs. All right, for fitting 
a UMP lower double stack mag to a USC. These pins are too large. They do that on purpose so you can't just readily throw on your lower. You have to file out these hooks here to get them to fit over that. So in this step here, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to file these and I'm going to show you how to fit it. So once you get this to sit on here and hook in place, we're going to want it to close up and just have ever so slightly a little bit of tension in, uh, before it comes all the way closed. You want a little bit of a tight fit. You don't want it uh, too terribly sloppy up here in this uh, front section. So I'm just going to keep hooking it and slowly closing it to where I have maybe about an eighth inch gap to where I start feeling tension. So that last little bit, there's a little bit of tension. That's going to hold everything together real well. So I'll get it fitted. I'll show you what I'm talking about. And that will be the next step you're going to want to pursue. So here you can kind of see what I'm talking about. See how big of a gap it is here. We're starting to bind, get a little pressure here, and it's flexing. So if you torque down on this, you could potentially bend or break these arms off. So that's uh, not quite filed enough. So I just want to show you this. So you can just take it slow, keep filing these out until this comes down here to about an eighth inch away. So it's just a little bit of tension to get it to fully close. We'll give it another go and we'll show you kind of the finished product. All right, so what I like to do on this step is mic the pin, see what the pin diameter is, and then translate that onto a file, put some tape on here. So when you're sliding your file back and forth, you can go right up to that tape line and not go past too far because the diameter will grow up here. And just kind of rub it back and forth. And then inside here, there is some marks that you can look at and make sure each slot is getting milled out the same amount so once you do all that then you can test fit it take your time you know no rush enjoy the process it'll go all the way down and it has just a little bit of tension at the bottom end here so once everything goes together you have a nice solid gun you don't this front end is tight it's not sloppy so take your time you want just a little bit of tension at the end so you can see that here just ever so slightly just a tight tight fit. Then the next thing that we're going to have to do is going to be hard to see is you can see how much wider this magwell is. I'm going to have to, what I like to do is just lay blue tape on here, mask out the new dimensions, and then just come in here with the Dremel. Last time I did it, I actually used a razor blade. I just got it hot. I set it into the plastic and I was able to score it with a hot razor blade. This time I'm going to use a Dremel, tape this all off, mark out where the new lines are, and just Dremel it out. Um, because right now, if we put this together, the new mags will not fully insert because it's hitting the plastic in here. So we'll work on that and see if we can get that done yet here tonight. All right, now that this is all cut out, and cleaned up. I used 1500 grit sandpaper, smoothed off all the edges. I, these are sharp corners, so I rounded them off just a little bit uh, so they're less apt to crack. Actually, right from the factory, this edge here had a chip out of it, and it's where this would go through that slot. So I just cleaned up that edge there a little bit too. Uh, so we'll go ahead and fit everything together here, see how well this goes. That snaps on there. Nice tight fit. That mag sits in there nice and solid. So I will go ahead and reassemble this. Uh, put the bolt in. It slides in. This goes on here. And then when you're doing this conversion to be 922R compliant, um, the best thing to do is you're going to have three U.S. parts. Just buy a U.S. made mag. Uh, that snaps in nice and tight. It has side folding stock, which I just noticed. I'll have to flip this around. This is hidden here, so i got to put that in the other way. I will do that. 
Next thing I can do is mount my top rail. For now, I'll just mount my rails up here. Those will come back off. The next thing I have to do is mill my slots, file my paperwork for uh, Form 1 for SBR, and then send the barrel in, get that threaded, and we are on our way to have a UMP. All right, I added some accessories on here for now just to kind of give you an idea of what everything looks like. Um, if I switch this around here to this, this is to this side, so now the stock goes all the way closed. One thing you can do is ship this out to Tom Bosick and he can put a hook on here so it will catch and latch. But this is rock solid, everything's really tight, hinge pin's nice and tight. I don't see that that's being necessary, it's an extra cost, but it is something you can do. So that is all set, and then what I like to do, once it's all together and I've already fitted it, but just see how all the mag goes in, latch is nice and tight. Do a uh, function check, obviously it's got an empty mag. So semi-auto, every position. Looking good, nice and solid. Um, so next video what I'll do is take these uh, rails off up front here and what I'm going to do is use these holes here, put an aluminum plate on here, make a jig and I'm going to have holes slotted in the aluminum plate. I'm going to set my router right in those slots and I'm going to use those slots in that jig I make to be my template to uh, mill these air holes out I guess for your upper receiver. I'll get that done, then I'll file my paperwork, and then send the barrel in. Uh, eventually down the road, I would like to kind of talk over how to file paperwork if you want to SBR something. Um, so generally how it works is if you have an item and you want to convert it, it's going to be on Form 1. If you want to buy something that's already done, that's going to be on a Form 4. But this just gives you an idea of what you're looking like. Looks a little dorky with the big long barrel on there, but uh, really in no time, I would say hour and a half's time, I was able to file these hooks out, convert the trigger group over, and mail out my slot for my magwell. I can try to, I'll take some pictures in here just to show you how much plastic is actually left. You don't want to, I saw in one video, the guy milled out so much plastic that his whole mag slipped into the upper receiver and that's something you don't want to do. You actually want a little plastic to stick in that this will bump against and help keep your mag nice and stiff. Yeah, you want this nice and solid in there. So I'll take a picture of the internals just to give you an idea what that'll look like.